Hello, everyone, and welcome to my electronic scoreboard for Stratomatic Football Super Advanced version. <clears throat> you can actually play it uh, with every version, I think. So I just wanted to go over some things to kind of do an, uh, a basic overview of what it can do. Uh, right now, I'm in the middle of a play. Just started a game between the 1978 Cowboys and the 1976 Pittsburgh Steelers. So uh, Tony Dorsett is on a line buck. Um, they chose wrong pass and it's nine, uh, but we're looking for the number of linebackers in the line buck zone and it's a zero with 2D6 of nine. So we're looking at the defensive left tackle. Uh, it's either a gain of one or six. And I know by experience that the defensive left tackles, the whole line basically, for the Steelers are fives and sixes. So this is Joe Green with a six. So it's a gain of one for Tony Dorsett. Okay, so let me go over some things here. What I've added is a little strat card down here because you can play with the cards, the cards that I found online that are freely available. Um, I've only uploaded three teams so far, 78 Cowboys, 76 Steelers, and the 1979 Chicago Bears. So when you first come in, um, so you can turn off the viewing of the strat cards here. So they won't display up there. And also the football cards, you can toggle to turn those off down here as well. And then just click on it to, to toggle through those options. <clears throat> so you can look at the strat, stratomatic cards for the few teams that I've uploaded from the freely available homemade cards. Uh, you can toggle the uh, football player cards, football cards that appear, and you can toggle them on and off down here. So you typically would put your team name here, home team here, go here to the clipboard, and then put in the team year. And if it's a team that I have auto that will automatically generate a lineup, it'll actually populate the lineups automatically when you click load teams. Uh, for most people, if they go to use the scoreboard, they'll probably just want to click on the players and uh, it'll just say basically quarterback, receiver one, receiver two, receiver three, receiver four, running back one, two, and three. And you just type in the name of who you want to be in the lineups and uh, it'll put them in there for you. And then click load lineups when you're done. For score recapping, uh, it'll automatically register the uh, Touchdowns, you just click on plus for the visiting team or plus for the home team if you want to add something like an interception or some kind of play you want to enter or field goals, you have to enter those manually. But touchdowns will be entered automatically. <clears throat> so that's how you get the lineups loaded. And let's see, you can change the play calling orientation to, uh, to a more modern day contemporary uh, pass oriented play calling because there is an automated play calling system by just clicking on the helmet or you can change it to run oriented play calling which I've got for these 1970s teams. <clears throat> I have the play board, the game board here uh, to play with uh, super advanced options. You can hide that by clicking here and then you just can play elementary if you want. Uh, I guess I need to add my little uh, robot into that so he's hidden as well. What he does is he calls the defense, super advanced defense, uh, in the automated play calling. So if I was to just click, since he's, you can do it manually, and it will not move the defensive markers or call your defense automatically. Or if you go to my little uh, AI robot guy, he will call. Uh, the defenses automatically and it's all based on algorithms based on the down and distance uh, kind of like how the offensive play calling is done in the code as well so if I wanted to do everything automated super advanced I'd leave this up I got my cards being displayed I would just click on the helmet to run a play a play would be chosen for me flat pass Robert Newhouse it'll move the football to which flat pass it is and it's here uh, the linebacker had moved up to the line in a pass blitz situation. So Roger Stallback is faced with a flat pass, the, uh, and they did choose right. 
So flat pass right seven, it's a plus four to Robert Newhouse. So I would just enter four. If it's passed to an alternate receiver, you can select that uh, before you hit set yard marker. The short gain, if there's one, is displayed here. This will be um, randomly chosen. Uh, just the same algorithm that's on the game charts that come with the board. If it's a long gain, you have that here. If you have a fumble, you just click here, and it'll tell you if the offense or the defense recovered it. After you enter in your yardage, you can do negative yardage by clicking on the negative. Change it to positive here. If you make a mistake, hit clear. And I want to enter four yards for this flat pass to Robert Newhouse. So I'll click on set yard marker. So you have your first roll dice here and a secondary roll here. And sometimes you need a secondary roll, uh, like for splits, or if you have to go to another card, then I'll reference this roll. Now, um, if I want to play uh, call plays manually, I would just use this right here. I can call, what do we have, third and five. If I want to call a, uh, well, let's see. The defense has set up with everybody in generally in, this, in their regular positions. So I will try a short pass to my flanker. And my flanker is Tony Hill. You can hide the card here. Um, so when you have the cards displayed, you can see that, again, you can toggle through that and, and then bring them back and it would, uh, not display any more cards when they're turned, when this option's turned off. So let's say short pass to my flanker. The defense is looking right. Let's see what they choose. They choose a run and all their players kind of stayed in normal position. So we have a short pass, wrong 10 and it's an incomplete pass. If there's a penalty, a little penalty flag will show up here and then I'll reference my secondary dice and then uh, reference the um, penalties for the team. If you need to reference the other team's uh, specialty cards, you can do those here. The opponent specialty card one, opponent specialty card two. That's if you get a penalty flag. So this was an incomplete pass. To enter that, I'll just uh, leave everything blank and hit set yard marker, and it'll register an incomplete pass. If you have an interception, you would click here. To do a punt or kickoff, click here. For quarterback scrambles, you want to click here so that the appropriate yardage will be credited to the quarterback. So you want to click scramble here or kick for punts and kickoffs and interceptions if there's an interception. And so it will register an interception for the uh, respective quarterback. Quarterback ratings are kept uh, throughout the game automatically. Turnovers, uh, if there's a fumble, you'll want to click here to register it. Interceptions will automatically uh, be registered here. First downs will be kept automatically as they occur. <clears throat> you can make uh, corrections to the yards if you need to do something uh, in there, if there's something, some kind of mistake that's made, you can make a correction in there. Uh, if there's a sack, you would register the sack minus six and click the little sack button. And then that'll register the, uh, the sacks for the respective quarterback. I do not want to do that. So I want to clear. It's an incomplete pass. I'll just set the yard marker. And that will update the statistics automatically, uh, adding an incomplete pass. These will update every 10 seconds, I think. <clears throat> so they're faced with a fourth and five. So we'll do an example of a kick. This will be a punt by the Cowboys. I'll use my D10 result up here, 10 on the punt. It's uh, 36 yards to the number one receiver uh, return back for punts for the Steelers, and then I'll change possession by clicking on the possession ball. So now the Steelers are gonna return it with their number one punt return guy. He's got a 2D6 of three, and so that'll be a minus three. So I'll click on move ball and do minus three. And first and 10 for the Steelers. So if I uh, did not wanna use this little guy, I just turn him off and the defense will not be called automatically, although they've already moved into position. So let me move them into their normal positions. So I could call whatever I want. I could say I want him and I want to do a pass 
and I want him to be in a blitz situation and I'll let the automated play calling system call it. Let's see. But this will not happen automatically now that I've changed it to manual. So we have a short pass. I guessed right. So we're looking at this column with a 2D6 of 7 and it's incomplete. And so you can see that everybody's back, reset to their regular positions. Uh, if you want to play nickels or dimes, I've added a couple extra cornerbacks. Then you would just pull out your linebackers and add the cornerbacks as necessary. So I'll change this back to the automated play calling for defense. So if I was playing elementary rules, I guess what I would do is uh, turn this to manual. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm going to turn it off here. I'll just I'll hide it. Um, I'll turn off the display of the uh, cards. I'll click it again to turn off the display of the football cards or pictures. And then um, I can either automate by just clicking here or manually do a, a offensive play call here. If I wanted everything automated, I'll just click here. And I get off tackle. Rocky Blyard have to reference the card, which I uh, don't have in front of me at the moment because I was using the on screen cards and then just enter your result. So um, when you do have a penalty, say a penalty happened and you want to register it, you have to click on the penalty flag and it'll, you'll see penalty will come in and then you would put like minus five or something like that. But um, I don't want to change my yardage here. So I hit clear. And penalty will not change my down and distance unless I entered a different uh, yardage. If, if I put in minus five, it will go to second and 15. But I don't want to change it right now. So that's how you do a penalty. You click there, scramble, kick, and interception. Um, so let me turn everything back on. And do a run through of another play we have second and ten uh, i want to automate my defense and automate the offense i'll just click here it'll make the call off tackle it'll be to the offense's left side or offense's right side defense left side we have no linebackers in there so it's an off tackle zero linebackers four so it's plus 15 we're doing a split here we have our secondary role is a four and a two to six will be a 15 yard pickup for Franco. No flag on the play. If he had a short gain, it'd have been 15. A long gain would have been 41. If there was a fumble, the offense would have recovered. So we set up at first and 10. They've gone past midfield to the Cowboys 43. Let's run one more play here. Rocky Blyer, end run. You can see the football got moved over here. You can move these. Uh, I kind of like where it's at, but you can see the football does move. The linebacker is playing off the line. So we have end run wrong with a nine. So that's a pickup of three. That leaves us a second and seven. Try one more play. All right, we're on short pass. They went pass. They're going to double team my uh, split end, and they're double teaming my tight end. And they guessed the pass, which is right. So we have short pass, right, eight. It's an incomplete pass. Actually, the pass is to Randy Grossman. He's being double teamed. So I should be looking here in the double teamed column. And, of course, it's still incomplete. Okay. I think I basically covered everything. So uh, any questions, obviously, I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, thanks for watching. Catch you on the forums.